In this section, we will be doing control flow and arrays. We'll be learning if statements, while loops, for loops, using switch statements, and understanding arrays. So in this video, we will be covering if statements. So we'll cover Boolean logic, casting, if statement syntax, if else statement syntax, and the if else if statement syntax. Let's go over to our code. So you should have this code, like we did in the last video. And now to go over Boolean logic. So this is the first part of Boolean logic. You have x and y. So this means that x and y have to be true. Next you have or, just like that. x or y means that one of these, x or y, have to be true. Next we have not x, which is exactly equal to the opposite of x. So if x is true, and this statement will be false. Next we have x is equal to y. You have to use two equal signs here. This means it is testing if x is exactly the same as y. Next we have x is not equal to y. So this means that x cannot be the same as y. Now that's the basics of Boolean logic that is used in the if statement conditional statement. Boolean logic is used in the if statement condition. Next, we have casting. Now let's change these to int. And then scan for next int. Just like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cast these variables to doubles. And this is exactly how you do them. So you type double in brackets like that, and then you type d1. And that casts d1 to a double, meaning that you just changed it to the type double instead of int. And now you can do divided by double and d2. Now this works with anything. If you have doubles instead, you can always cast it to an int instead. But let's click play and see what happens. So let's type in 5 and let's type in 3. Now as you can see, the value is a double. Now if we don't have these casting right here, then you'll see what happens. So let's do 5 and then 3. And as you can see, it printed out 1. So casting can be very useful. Next, let's do if statement syntax. So the basic way an if statement goes is just like this. You have if, and then you have a condition, and then you open up brackets, just like that, and then you have a statement. And that is the basic syntax of an if statement. So for the condition, you can input Boolean logic, just like that. So what we want to do, for example, let's test if d1 is larger than 5. So if it's greater than 5, then it will go into this if statement. So if it's greater than 5, let's print it out. Just like that. Now that's your if statement. So let's play and see what happens. So let's type in 10 and then 5, and as you can see, d1 is greater than 5. It passed into this if statement. Now, if it's not greater than 5, we can add in the else statement, just like that. So if this does not pass, this will pass. And now, let's say, let's print that out. Just like that. And now let's click play and show you. So let's type in 4 and then 2, and as you can see, it says d1 is not greater than 5. Now finally, with if statements, you can also have an else if. So you can add in an if here, and then you can have another condition. So let's say d1 is less than 2. And now we can type in here, d1 is less than 2, just like that. And you can always combine an else statement here again, and you can also combine as many else if statements as you want, just like that. And you can continue to keep combining else if statements like so. And as you can see, let's play and see what happens. So let's type in 1 and then 10. D1 is less than 2. And as you can see, it passed right into this if statement. And that's the basic of if statements.